Hello! Welcome to We Are Crafted in His Image. Um, this is Tammy and we are working on our August Cocoa and Crafts kit. This is going to be our very first project so I'm going to show you what came in your kit. Make sure you have all your pieces and parts. Sweet as a Peach is our stamp set that we're focusing on this month. I'm going to set that over here because that belongs to somebody else. Um, Pale Papaya Calypso Coral and Pear Pizzazz are the ink pads that we're going to be using that came in your kit. Sorry about that. And yes, I've already used this paper here, so that's what it's for. I'm going to show you today. We're going to be using this. I'm not going to grab out another piece to use. Um, you also should have a sponge dauber in your kit, some chocolatey treat for us to munch on while we're crafting, and of course your four projects kits. Now one, two, and four are in the bags like they normally are, but number three did not fit. So there is an envelope with your little pieces in it, and there is the two the two main parts for our bag that we're going to be making. Um, those are not labeled, so just don't lose those three pieces. So here we go. Let's get started with project number one. I'm going to move these out of our way, pull in my ink pads. Of course, I still have some of the older ones. Um, and my inks are my stamp set and this is the project we are going to make today there's the envelope and it says hope your day is as sweet as a peach and we're going to go ahead and stamp a, a little bit of stamping today um, simple card as far as layers and cutting and all that kind of stuff but we do have a little bit of stamping to do so lots of different colors also so let's get started with that I'm going to set my card over here where I can see and get out what's in. I'm going to make sure I'm straight where you can see my project. In your kit there is two card bases, of course, two rectangles, and one of the envelopes, there's two envelopes, one has a few little cutouts. Not very many, but we do have a few today. There we go. Simple, simple, simple. Um, let's start with our background on these two. So I'm going to move my base out of the way, kind of scoot those over. We're going to start with this color here. Um, and as you can see on this card, there is a little bit of shading behind the main image. Okay, you can, if you have our a blending brush. I would recommend doing that step with the blending brush. It would be much easier. Um, it will give you a smoother look, but it can be done with the sponge dauber, and that's what we're going to use today. We have the sponge dauber in the kit because we're going to use it to give a lot of our images um, two colors, to give a little bit of double shading going on on it, and that's much easier to do with the sponge dauber. That's why I included it in the kit this month, and since that's what's in the kit, that's what I'm going to use to show you how to even do that background shading. Um, the tip, the 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 key to it is to be light, 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 light. You want as little ink on your sponge dauber as possible. So I'm going to dab that on there, but then I'm going to rub the majority of it off on my scrap paper here. And then I know I want my main little, my big peach to go in this area, and I want the shading kind of to focus in this corner. So I'm going to start in the center in case I get too dark of a color. It will be underneath my peach and you won't notice it. So I'm going to start there and I'm just going to keep rubbing and working my way out. And see, I kind of like that. That's good. It's not um, too much color. It's not too little color. Um, I could go out a little bit further. But the key is when you do it, make sure you have very, very little ink on your sponge dauber to start with. If you don't, this is what's going to happen. Say I just did that, you're going to end up with big splotchy pieces like this and you don't want that. You just want a very light shade of the color in that corner. So I'm going to do that again on this one. Um, yeah, I'm going to do it with this because that's what we have in our kit. So get most of my color off, get it off of there, start in the center, and work my way out. And if I find I don't have enough color, I'll just do another layer. I'll just add some more. I think, say this is a little darker, I think I want to add a little more. So daub, get most of it off, 
and then work my way out. You'd be amazed at how much ink is actually on your sponge dauber while you're doing this. There we go. Okay, so that's what we want. Get my phone back on here so I can see what I'm doing. There we go. I'm going to leave that open because we do have quite a bit of stamping to do. So I'm just going to leave that open right now. Um, first thing we're going to stamp is the flowers in the background. So let me grab out my flower image. And you know what? I'm just going to peel this off and put it behind there because I'm going to be using a lot of stamps off of here. We'll go ahead and get a block. And there is our first image. And we're going to also use this little, they're so stinking cute, little teeny tiny little flowers. And the teeny, teeny, tiny little leaves. All right. So what we're going to do is stamp this. I'm going to grab my peach because I want to use that kind of as a guide to show me where to stamp my flowers. So I believe, trying to remember if I stamped off first or stamped that straight. Looks like I stamped directly. So we're going to just stamp these flowers directly on here. And the first one I want to be above where my peach is. So I'm kind of eyeballing it. Move the peach out of the way and stamp that down. Maybe I did stamp off. I don't, I don't know. I can't tell. I made this little while ago and it took me three or four tries to get it the way I liked it. Now I can't tell. Okay, tell you what, we're going to do one full strength and we'll do one by stamping off. So the second one is going to go down here in this area. So move my peach out of the way. And having the peach there just helps me get them far enough apart so that they'll still be seen when my peach is on there. So tell you what, since I've already stamped this once, let me, I think this one's going to go right here. Oh yeah, I definitely had to stamp it once. You can't even see it that one. <laughs> Let's try that again. Good thing it was hardly anything there. There we go. Okay, so now the second one. Get my little peach here. I'm going to need to eyeball. Yeah, about that area right there. There we go. Okay, so that one is done. I need to go ahead. Oh, you know what? While I have this inked up and ready, I'm going to go ahead and do my envelope. Let me grab those. Let me pull this, this, while I have this already ready to go. Oh, I'm going to stick a cluster of flowers right there and a cluster of flowers right there. All right, that one's ready. I don't think I need any more of that one. Um, and now we need to do the Calypso Coral. We're going to do the little flowers. They are so cute. Try to move things so that you can still see what I'm doing and still make it, you know, neat and tidy looking. All right, now these ones I do know that I stamped off because they were pretty intense. So I'm just going to stamp on my side paper here and then I'll put some here. Put a cluster over here. Then another cluster down here. And then maybe over there. What do you think? Yeah, I like that. Okay. And then we're going to do the same thing on our other card. Oh, one of my flowers. I did not I did not push down very well. I'm going to see if I can. Ha! Huh, I did. Woohoo! That doesn't always happen. Oh, I forgot to stamp off. I'm going to have a really dark one there. That's okay. That's all right. Okay, now I want to do the envelopes as well. So let's scooch these two over here. Grab my envelopes. And stamp. 
Um, maybe right in the middle. Stamp. Oh, I like. I like. And there we go. Okay, the little flowers are done. Oh, wait. Uh, we have to do some on the inside, but I'll wait. I'll wait on that. I'll just leave them on their block. And now for the teeny tiny little leaves. These are the most adorable. It's so funny how it goes from a blob of flowers to a bouquet in just by adding these little leaves on here. And you can add as many or as little as you want. I like it. Um, one thing I didn't do on my original, which I think I'm going to do right now, is there is a stamp in the kit that's just like little starburst, it looks like, a little tiny burst. It's actually the center of the flowers. So I think I am going to go ahead and I'm going to take those flowers off because I need my tiny block. And I think I'm going to use the coral and add just a little cluster. I'll do some of them um, full strength and some of them double or um, stamped off. That's the word I'm looking for. See, so yeah, I think I'll do the middle one that time. Like that. There we go. And I will do the same thing on those, but let me get my leaves first so I can get my envelopes out of the way. Let's do some more leaves. Aren't these adorable? I don't know what it is about them, but just adding those leaves, it just makes me giggle. I just, I don't know. I can't figure out why. It just, I love the way they look. They're so cute. Okay. Mm, do I need another one? Maybe right there. Yes. Okay. There it is. So envelopes are finished. Let's get those out of the way. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and add the centers to these. Um, and actually, I'm going to add the center to my original envelope as well. Ooh, I almost stuck that in the green, didn't I? Let's do a single, a double. There we go. I do like that. I think that kind of finishes off the flowers a little bit. Let's do full strength. Stamped off. Maybe stamped off a third time even. Full strength. Stamp off. Stamp off again. Yeah, just kind of gives a little variety to them. Not everything has to be exactly the same. Flowers would come in such a variety. Oops, didn't get that on there. Of coloring. There we go. Alright, and now to add my cute little leaves. Good thing my family's not here listening to me. They'd be cracking up. You're probably laughing at me anyway, but that's okay. We're having fun. All right, these, they're just so cute. Oh my gosh, so cute. I'm gonna have to find other ways to use these leaves because I don't know. And maybe it's also just that third pop of color instead of the two shades of, of peachy, corally color. Yeah, it's so cute, okay. That one's done, and now this one adds more leaves. Do one in the middle. So how has your week been this week? Please leave a comment. Let me know how things are going. Um, I spent the week at Pioneer School. Uh, basically I did some time traveling back to 1890s and I got to be the school marm and taught 21 students what it was like to live back then and to go to school in a little one-room schoolhouse. It was really fun. Exhausting but really really fun. So there's our background. That is ready to go. Let's go ahead and stamp our cutouts. We have the two peaches and a set of leaves. And thankfully this is a photopolymer stamp set, 
so it's a little easier to see through for our stamping but for those who are new who have not um, watched any of my videos with this class kit um, it's always easier to stamp first and then cut out later but because this kit includes the cutouts um, we can't do it that way so we're gonna have to stamp after it's been cut so I'm gonna start with the leaves because they're a little bit easier I'm just gonna ink up my stamp and then my head may get in your way because I want to make sure I am over top and actually here's a little trick here's a little trick grab yourself a piece of cardstock that is a darker color and it can be scraps it could be whatever I just pulled this out of my scrap drawer um, darker color and then the outline of your paper will show up better and it'll be easier for you to find it and stamp it down pull that off pull it off whoops and there's my leaf okay so then we're gonna do our second one and stamp down okay leaves are done now I'm going to do my peach now the peach we're gonna do that's where our sponge dauber is gonna come in I'm gonna ink it up with the pale papaya ink then I'm gonna take my sponge dauber and before I do anything else what I like to do with this particular style is you can see all these bubbles I don't know if you can see them very well let's see if I can get it to focus on you on this can I get it to focus maybe maybe not anyway there are a lot of bubbles on the top of this right now so what I'm gonna do is kind of just smooth this out a little and then I'm going to get a little bit of clips of coral on my sponge dauber little bit is the keyword there and I'm gonna gently just kind of daub some color in a few areas not the whole thing just a few little areas you can see I did some here and some down there I don't know if you can see how do I get this to focus so that you can see what I'm doing can you see the darker colors there it doesn't want to focus on the ink but you can see that it's a little bit darker on the edges and now I'm going to go ahead and stamp this down lining up mostly I'm just lining up that top and bottom hope my head's not in your way and there we go we got a little different color of peach so it's not all pale papaya and then I'm gonna go ahead and clean my stamp a little bit because I don't want to get any calypso coral on my pale papaya ink pad okay and again just kinda pop some of those bubbles smooth things out a little and then grab a little bit of color daub it maybe in a little different area just to play with it just to see what you like there we go whoops don't drop it oh I'm gonna have to re, re daub my finger hit that spot yep and stamp down and there we go there's my second peach um, and actually we're gonna do the same thing on the inside of the card so I'm gonna go ahead and get the base out while we're here and we'll go ahead and stamp the inside of our card base um, ba -dum -bum -bum. let's grab this one let's do that one first so again clean it a little bit ink oh my word I am just a klutz bucket today okay daub a little bit get some more color and I can tell right now you probably can't see from where you're at but I have way too much color and is there's going to be a harsh line between the dark and the light so I'm getting most of my color off over here and I'm just going to gently daub so that it will blend those two lines together a little bit better there we go and then I can add a little bit more color right here now part of the reason I'm having to daub off a lot is I just re-inked this ink pad and it is super super inky right now and yours is brand new so yours is probably going to be super inky as well um, after a while when your ink pads aren't as inky you won't have to daub off quite so much but um, yeah mine is super inky so then I'm gonna go ahead and stamp in the bottom corner 
There we go. This would actually give me a much better image of stamping if I could find my stamp mat. And I'm not sure where it's at, but we have a foam mat that goes underneath. And when you're using the photopolymer stamps, it's always a good idea to have that underneath. Uh, I can't find it right now. So I think it's time to do some deep cleaning of the craft space. But for now, I'll just have to really push hard to get that a good image. Okay, so there we go. Dab a little. Get me some more color. And this time I'm going to go down that way. It's just so fun to see how they come out. They come out different every single time. I'm giving a good push down. There we go. Okay, and then we need leaves. Where did my stamp with my leaves go? There it is. Need some leaves. There's that. And bring this one back in. Stamp this one. I like the way they designed this leaf, this stem with the leaf. It can go this direction or it could go this direction. Either way. Um, but this way wouldn't fit on my card as well, so I'm going that direction today. Um, now we need to stamp our words and the sweet as a, or the uh, little tiny little flowers. So let me grab my flowers and the sweet as a peach. Here's my little flowers and sweet as a peach. All right, this is going to be stamped up here. Is my head in your way? I hope not. There we go. And then just a couple clusters of flowers, one on one side. And, whoa, that's where I'm having problems. One on the other side. And this one is ready. Let's do our second one. Sweet as a peach. Goes up here. My desk is getting squeaky all of a sudden. Setting my elbow here and I'm, I'm squeaking. <laughs> It's also very quiet in here because I have no music playing. Because, of course, I don't want to get in trouble by the YouTube police for having music on. There you go. So, it, I'm hearing more noises in my room than I normally hear. Alright. So, I'm going to close these up because if I don't, I'm going to end up putting some paper on top of it. I did that to a couple of cards last week. There we go, get those out of the way. So now we're just gonna assemble. Let's get our cards put together. Let me move these out of the way. Let's put our cards together. We're gonna fold this one. Bone folder, guess what? I have a new bone folder on the way. Woohoo! It won't be as, well this one's not a stain. Did I get a switched one out? I have one that's, look, this thing is so old. It is so old. But I have one that's super stained up on the end. I don't know. I'm confused now. Someone's been messing in my craft room. I promise you. Someone has been in here. Things have gone missing. Things have been replaced. All right. Sweet as a peach. Sweet as a peach. Make sure that's the front. Now we need to adhere our panels. So let's get our stamp and seal. Put a little bit of it down the sides, a little bit in the middle, set that one aside. Same thing on this one. And then, of course, upside down for me. I'm trying to give myself an even border. Whoops. Even border on three sides there should give me an even border on the fourth side. There we go. There's that one. Did I do it right? I did. Flip that one over. Flip that over. And down it goes. All right. So let's finish up. Um, I'm going to use Stampin' Dimensionals on mine, but you are welcome to just glue it straight down if you would prefer. Uh, 
I don't have many dimensionals left in this package. Oh, I'll get a brand new one out. Woohoo! And you know what? I am simply going to put two dimensionals. One on one side. Oh, come on. One on the other, just because I don't have these already cut and ready to roll. One on that side. And then, actually, I'm going to cut off... Oh, no, I'm not, because my paper snips are out here. I know where they are, though. They are in my stuff from Pioneer School, because we did embroidery work at Pioneer School, and all my scissors are in the embroidery basket. So, I need to remember to get those out and put them back in my crafty space. There we go. So, I have dimensionals on those, and I'm going to go ahead and pop off the backing, bring my little trash cup over here. Put my peach right down and then put my you know what I may put my leaves facing yeah I like I'm going that direction there we go oh I totally forgot we have one more thing to stamp <laughs> we have one more thing to stamp that's okay there we go And the last one there. And now I'm going to grab your as sweet as. I think that's, yeah. Hope your day is as sweet as. There we go. Or maybe thanks for being as sweet as a peach. <gasps> Ooh, that's what I'm going to do on one of these. So you can do either or. Hope your day is as sweet as a peach or thanks for being as sweet as a peach. I think I'm going for the thanks. Um, ba -dum -bum -bum, if I can find it. There it is. There it is. I found it. I found it. And come on. Come on. Let go of my finger. We need Calypso Coral. Come back here. And there is just a strip of paper. So what you're going to do, ink up, stamp near one side, try to get it as straight as you can. That's always the hardest part. And then over towards the other side, because we're going to just cut these apart. And that one is crooked. So flipping it over. <laughs> if it's a little crooked, no big deal. But if it's a lot crooked, there's a second side to that piece of paper. There we go. And now, oh, now I need my paper snips. I'm going to pause you. You're being paused. Okay, I am back. Got the paper snips. Um, and I wanted to share with you, um, I mentioned that we were in Pioneer School and the girls were embroidering. And one of the girls, this was her handkerchief that she was embroidering, and she gifted it to me at the end of the, the week. And I thought it was so sweet. Isn't that cute? So anyway, sorry, <laughs> my little, my little thing there. Um, let's go ahead and cut this in half to start with. And then what I'm going to do, as you can see, I didn't give myself very much room on this side. I should have given myself a little bit more room. Probably the best bet would have been to cut these in half to begin with and then stamp somewhere in the middle and then cut our edges. I should have done it that way. However, hindsight's 2020. So hopefully you will do it that way. But I'm going to cut it so I have about an even space on either side. And I think on this one, since I have such a short space here, I am just going to cut on a little bit of an angle, just a little bit on that side. And I'll do this one at like the same, the same angle like that. Okay. Um, and then on this one, if I have room, I do have room for this one. I'm going to do the little notched edges. But before I start those, I always like to have an even, an even distance from one side to the other. So I'll cut that off first. And then to do the like ribbon edge, I don't know what you call that end. I always cut once up the middle and then to that middle and to that middle. And that just helps me get it evenly even on both ends of my little tail there. Does that make sense? 
There we go. And let's do this one. Oops, I think I went in a little too far on that one compared to the other side. That's all right. It's all good. Okay. Woohoohoo. Don't lose our pieces and parts. There we go. Put those in the garbage. Okay, so now on this one, we only need to have um, a dimensional behind this little side over here. Can you see that? So what I'm going to do, flip it over so I know it's this side that's going to need it. And I am going to just cut off a little bit off the edge here. Oh. <laughs> the backing came right off that one. I'll stick that there. Come on, get on there. Stick that one there. And then I'm just going to use a little bit of our glue pen on this side and glue that directly to the peach. Make sure we're straight. There we go. Same thing for this one. And there you go. Alrighty, this card is finished. So here are our envelopes. Let's hide some of our messy, messy background paper here. And there's our cards all finished up and ready to be gifted to somebody. And I appreciate you joining me in the class today. I hope you enjoy your little crunch bar. And I will be back next week with project number two, which is such a fun card. If you see this on the front here, and then when you open it, there's a little, what do you call it? A crate of peaches on the inside. Isn't that fun? A little crate of peaches in there. So anyway, we will do this one next week, and I will see you then. Until then, God's love and blessings to you. Bye!